Today's video is the battle of the Pani Puris. Pani Puri is the quintessential Indian street food and every state has its own delectable version. Its savory, sweet and tangy flavors perfectly balance each other and the crisp outer shell is the perfect vehicle that makes each bite incredibly exciting. Growing up in India, I had Pani Puri every Monday after my dance class. I've served Pani Puri at my pop-ups and it also makes for an incredibly interactive snack for when you have guests over. Today we are going to try three different versions of Pani Puri and tell you which one's our favorite. The first one is completely store-bought, the second one is semi-homemade and the third one is made from scratch. Let's begin. This one is completely store-bought, which means I bought this box off of Amazon Prime and essentially we're just going to follow the directions on the box. Every component of the Pani Puri is within this box and we just have to follow the instructions, assemble, and we are ready to eat. Let's open it up. Okay, not too bad. So we open this up and a lot of them are broken. If we can salvage three of them, which I think we can, then we'll be good. All right, let's try it. So we saw that the box came with these puris and it also came with boondies, which is essentially deep fried chickpea balls and the directions told me to soak it in water for two minutes, which I've done. It also comes with this chutney, which they're calling a sweet mango chutney. And it also came with another pouch with a green paste that I've added to water and just stirred it together. All right, let's assemble this. Add the chutney, add some of the boondi, and then I'm gonna do that with the rest of the Pani Puris and then move on to adding the water. Now we're ready to add the water. Let's give it a little stir. Now we're on to the second one, which is semi-homemade. And I call it semi-homemade because these Puris I got them dried and uncooked from Amazon. It was $10 or something like that, and I just deep fried them. They actually look so great. Then we have the boondies, and this is just boiled potatoes. This pack came with a spice pack, and I also bought a green chutney, which was made of coriander and mint. So I mixed those two components into water to make the pani of the pani puri. And as you can see here, this is the sweet tamarind chutney that I also bought off of Amazon. All right, let's assemble. A little bit of potato, some of the boondi, and some of this chutney. I'm gonna give this water a stir. I like to fill mine up about halfway. Now we're gonna do the third version, which is the that house version. Everything you see on the table here, other than the boondi and the save, are made at home. I made the puris from scratch, the potatoes, the chutneys, and I also made this pani puri masala. Now, what I would say is don't go into the hassle of making the puris at home. The pack you can buy off of Amazon and deep fry at home is perfect. It gives a great result every time. It's crisp, it's easy, it's cheap. Just do that. What I'm gonna do with this one, it's slightly different. We're gonna make dahi puri, which means instead of the flavored water, these puris are going to be filled with flavored yogurt. 
So let's begin. It's Ross's favorite. Gonna stuff it with the potato first. Now we're gonna add some chutney, the red chutney. I love this chutney, so I'm gonna go for it. Now we're going to add some of the boondi. Okay, let's add the yogurt now. Lots of yogurt. Just cover them. Okay. Now we're gonna add the green chutney. Just a little bit, it packs a punch. Then I'm gonna go back with the red chutney again. Right now we're gonna top it off with some more boondi. Then add some red chili powder here. Gonna add a little bit of that. I have some chaat masala. Again, a little sprinkling of that. And I have this spice mix, which is perfect for chaat that I made. I'm gonna add very little of that, just a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna top it off with the save all over, adds a really lovely crunch. Don't be shy. And then I'm gonna sprinkle some of this freshly chopped cilantro on top. And there we have it. It's very sweet because most of these have holes in them and so the water leaked out. The water could use a little bit more punch. I added more of the paste than they asked for, but it lacks a little bit of seasoning. Otherwise, not too bad. I would rate it maybe six out of 10. Let's try the store-bought version of the Pani Puri. I mean, that's really good. I can taste the mango chutney, which is not usually what had in a Pani Puri. You usually don't have the mango, but it is balanced and, and pretty nice. I think I'll have another. I would score this similar, maybe six or seven out of 10. We'll call it a 6.8, 6.8. A little messy, but way better than the last one. The chutney has some real kick to it. It's tangy, which is what we want. The spices in here are perfect. And so it's perfectly seasoned. It's not under seasoned like the last one. There's a huge crunch while I eat it, which is incredible. So I'm gonna rate this eight out of 10. All right, round two on the Pani Puris. Let's give it a try. This is easily better than the previous one. I really like this. Like Roshni said, much more of a punch. You can taste the different spices. Also, eight out of 10. I'll go a little higher, 8.3, 8.3. This is really delicious. I love the different spices that I can taste. I can taste the spices in the tamarind chutney. I can taste it in the potato. I can taste it in the yogurt. So there's different layers of flavor happening here. I really love this. The only thing I will say is that I wish the puris were crispier and I could have done a better job of making them. So again, just buy it and fry it and it'll give you a perfect result. Um, out of 10, I would rate this 8.2. I like it just a little bit more than the other one. All right, let's try this last Pani Puri, actually Dahi Puri. 
Okay, I love that. Obviously, this is quite different than the Pani Puris, and there's so many more ingredients here, and I'm biased because I do prefer Puri with the yogurt, the Dahi Puri. So this is definitely my favorite. I'm gonna go a little bit higher than the last one. We'll say 8.6. One more. After trying these three experiments, I would say that it's totally worth making your chutneys at home. You can control them to your preferences, they're fresher tasting, no preservatives, and you can make it the way you like it. I would buy the uncooked puris from Amazon or any other Indian grocery store and just deep fry them at home and then assemble all of it together and enjoy it. I saw that you can fry these pani puris in an air fryer as well. Let me know if you want me to try it out. Which one was your favorite? Leave me a comment and let me know. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to dive into the depths of Indian cuisine and culture.